Okay, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is Disclosure. Doing something a little bit different. I'm combining uh, Mars Science Laboratory, Curiosity, Sol 59 Right Mass Cam, and 113 Right Mass Cam into uh, one video because they show similar things. It's probably the same formation, I don't know. The it doesn't actually appear to be, but I'm thinking it's in the same area. At any rate, we're going to show these roof vents. And Curiosity Soul 113 will show the control mechanism in a little greater detail. Let's get started. We'll zoom in. This is not a natural formation. I've been able to easily ascertain that. Um, right in here you can see a little bit of detail of the control mechanisms, mechanisms, I mean the rods and levers or whatever, I'm not a mechanic, but, uh, rods and levers that would typically be used to control vents like these. You can see this type of thing, uh, say on top of a greenhouse, for instance, where they open them up to let out the hot air. Just that type of thing. This isn't a greenhouse, obvious. obviously. It's an old broken down building. Uh, just amazing that they can completely ignore this evidence and not talk about it. We have an unbelievable uh, problem with integrity in this country. So this information belongs to everybody. It doesn't belong to a handful of wealthy, powerful elitists who've never had to work in their lives. It belongs to everyone. There's a little bit of green in this photo. Uh, you'll see the green in much more detail in a minute. There's a scattering of small, interesting objects in addition to these vents. I'm not going to go into that very much. Here's an interesting object that uh, looks like a long rectangular plate or something. Some kind of mechanism. This is artificial in here. And much detail. You can see how it's kind of broken down though. This is, these are not natural. This is not shale or anything like that. Not with these control mechanisms like I said. And you can tell these are staggered vents or that type of thing. Um, does kind of beg the question if they're if the Martians are venting, well, were venting the buildings, um, it must have been uh, a lot warmer, so it begs the question, why are we being told that Mars is so cold? Maybe it cooled down, but I don't think that much. At any rate, here we have some more interesting objects here. Kind of artifacts. I'm not sure. It's got like a four sided hole there. There isn't much there, to be honest. But look down here. Here we have a rock or whatever, but it's got. You can see, if you look close, you can see the green leaves. I mean, they're blatantly obvious. So there we have another example of plants. I think I'll move along to the next plate. Because there's more to see. This is the second photo from Soul 59. This is a lot more pixelated. Uh, the size was much smaller. It's 500 pixels across. The rest were 1200. But notice up here we have a green area there in this 
This is obviously water, or apparently water. And we have this green area, just blatantly obvious vegetation. Uh, you don't have field folds of green rocks, folks. It just don't happen. So that's good. And then we have obvious plants, blatantly obvious plants. Interesting artifact there. I'm not going to spend too much time on this photo other than seeing more of this buried debris. Now this is an object that had a four-sided hole. Looks like a parallelogram. That was over on the right before so we're seeing to the right of that now. So what we saw before is on the left. Next slide. Again, not too much in the second and third photos, and it's the same way with Soul 113. This is interesting right here. Um, my guess is it was part of a building, that's what it looks like. And there may be kind of a design here, or it just might be natural rocks. I'm not going to touch that very much. It's more green. Here's an interestingly curious object. It takes a sharp eye to see it. There's apparently a pipe that sticks up out of the ground, leaves a shadow, and goes up to this object and sticks up. Wouldn't know what the purpose of it is, but... Uh, shouldn't be pipes on Mars if we are being told the truth, which we're not. There are more objects here. And here's the green. So that's good. We have obvious vegetation. right here and this will be the end of the Soul 59 photos when we get to the 113's I just wanted to show there's actually a fair amount of stuff in here this looks like it might be I say might be some sort of a plant formation possibly succulent uh, other than that we're gonna move on Soul 113, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the actual Okay, I got kind of cut off my, my program. Uh, here we have the first one from Soul 113. And the control mechanisms, whatever they are, much easier to see. Especially here. And nature doesn't produce this type of thing where you have these rods on top, rods on bottom, and they're connected at rod uh, right angles by <laughs> rods. I refuse to accept that that's natural. I'm very sorry if that upsets you, but uh, no one in the brain should think that that's natural. And again, here's more evidence right here. Same thing, rods they seem to be encrusted a bit with uh, vegetation. And by the way, I didn't do much as far as uh, modding these photos. Here's a curious object. I wish we were closer so we could study it better. It's uh, too finely detailed to be natural. We have the kind of rocky area. I put these uh, Soul 113 and Soul 59 together because they are in kind of a related area. Well, Soul 113 doesn't show the distant vegetation that I showed before. At any rate, 
a lot of this is just plain building rubble. And here we have again, you know, the mechanisms are clear and obvious. Very old, they're broken down, but they're there. That's not natural. I, re I refuse to accept that nature could possibly create something like that. Not at right angles where you have all these rods and they're connected by rods. That's intelligence. Alright. On top of that, we have another vent. Apparently. Similar to uh, gratings you might see in, on Earth, actually. Very old, worn out. But it is a vent. It's right here. It's this dark thing right there. So that's good. We we're making identifications for chains. A lot of these things I can't identify. I can only, you know, say that they're not natural. In this case, it's either a vent or we're looking at pipes headed through. That could be two. It might be something like an air conditioning radiator or something. Here we have a couple of uh, triangular pieces. They uh, definitely are not natural. Kind of look like these stops that you might see in a parking lot. I don't know what you call them. Bumper stops? I don't know. And here's a curious object that I've been unable to identify. It's kind of a, almost a wing-shaped thing uh, over uh, something else. I don't have a clue. Interesting, it's in Sol 113. Let's see if there are any other goodies here. When we move on to the next slide. That's interesting. That's another vent in all likelihood. That's what it looks like. This whole area seems to have this stuff in it. Um, this is not natural. You don't like that? Get over it. Because there's more to come. Oh, and uh, I have something to say about the Wicked Witch of the West, Diane Feinstein. No, we're not going to be silent. You're not going to limit who can say what by limiting people only to paid so-called professionals and work for these uh, big media conglomerates. We still have the right. We have every right to do what we're doing. In my case... You know, there's many different news things that I can work on, but I'd rather do the Mars photos. I won't shut up about it. It's real. These are plants, artifacts, and structures. All right. An interesting area has all these holes. These holes, um, a lot of them, I'm going to go out on a limb here, but the plants seem to grow from the rocks to some extent. Maybe it's sandstone and they have some sort of a life cycle that we haven't seen. You see it to some extent in uh, earth plants too. So it's not that unusual. It seems to be more prevalent on Mars. It's some sort of a water conservation technique or something. I wouldn't know. Almost looks like there are steps here. This is all worn out. These are either fossils or, like I said, plants that have grown from the rock and uh, poked the holes in it. Take your pick. Not much to see here. On to the next. And here's more of the same. Just to recap. You know, these are not natural. 
These are clearly vents, like some kind of roof vents. We know what roof vents do. I don't need a scientist to discuss with me what it is. I know what it is. I don't need you. You're not my boss. You scientists and you debunkers are not my boss. And you can't stop us from showing the public the truth. No matter how much you want it. One more time. Control mechanisms. Rectangle. You know, all these long uh, rods and connected to other rods by these straight short rods at right angles. That's not natural. It cannot be natural. It could not have formed naturally. Vents and all sorts of different things. So grab these photos from uh, Snake and the Hunter Enterprises, put them on your desktop, and study them. Well, just to recap again, uh, go ahead and grab these photos from Snake and the Hunter Enterprises. I'll link to it. And study them and try to do your own analysis. Maybe even make a video like I do and show the public you're being lied to. There's no question about it. There's no excuse for these people not to t divulge this information to the public. They uh, should go to prison for misappropriation of public funds since they refuse to let the public at large know that there are artifacts, plants, and structures on Mars. So, there you go. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Grab photos and start studying.